Hey there, I'm Roxanne Vargas. It is Wednesday, May 29th, and here are the six things to know today. A South Florida woman facing three charges of vehicular homicide and DUI manslaughter after allegedly killing three South Florida teens over this weekend. Police in North Miami say Miriam Kolovali had a suspended license at the time of this crash. A balloon release is planned to honor the victims tonight at the Little Haiti soccer field. Results are in for the Sweetwater mayoral race. Incumbent Mayor Orlando Lopez re-elected, beating out Jose Diaz. Less than 3,000 people showed up to the polls for the election. Attorneys for former Palm Beach Gardens police officer Newman Raja. There you go, getting ready for another battle in court. Their hope is to get their client released from prison while he awaits sentencing for the 2015 murder of an unarmed motorist, Corey Jones. A teen is sentenced to one year probation for illegally entering President Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort while the president was staying there in November. 19-year-old Mark Slattery Lindblom allegedly went into the resort through an underground tunnel. Miami Dade gearing up for hurricane season. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez hosting a talk addressing the steps the city is taking to prepare. The Miami Dade Office of Emergency Management teaching residents how to prepare their homes as well. And Senator Rick Scott also in town to discuss preparations for the state. Apps focused on helping you get better financial footing, gaining popularity. Some applications help you save money for a rainy day. Others help you pay off debt faster. Check out the NBC6 app for a story on the good and the bad of using technology. For more on any of these stories, including why two women attacked a local Burglar King manager, that more, tap the NBC6 app.